Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I finally received my package from Shout Factory for the uh, going out of print sale. Um, I got a few titles, I didn't get everything. I wanted more than what I wanted to spend, so I cut out a couple titles. I think I got nine here. I think, I don't know, we'll see. Um, maybe it was seven, I don't remember. Seven. All right, I got, yeah, I had like, I think I had 12 at one point and then I cut it down to nine and then I cut it down to seven. So got a lot of paper in here. I don't know what, what order this is in, so I'm just gonna pull it out and, and show you. So the first title here is one that I've been wanting to pick up for a while now. And then I saw it was going out of print, so I grabbed it. Uh, I think there's another title for this, but it's called Alien Predators. Uh, this is from 1987, 90 minutes. Uh, there's an old MGM uh, title here. This is like a horror sci-fi with uh, Dennis Christopher from uh, Fade to Black and uh, uh, the T It TV series, It miniseries. Martin Hewitt and Lynn Holly Johnson. Uh, I have not seen this, but I've always been intrigued by it. I heard it wasn't, you know, the greatest movie in the world, but I do like my uh, alien movies, so I definitely wanted to check this out. So, uh, you only get an audio commentary with the director and then the theatrical trailer as special features, so can't wait to check that one out. Next up, this is... A, is, this a, is this a hammer? I don't think this is a hammer horror. No, this is not a hammer horror, but it's an it's an old horror film from 1962. Uh, 92 minutes. It is called uh, Doctor Blood's Coffin. We dare you to look into Doctor Blood's Coffin. Ooh, it's in color. <laughs> uh. Uh, let's see here. So this is about uh, Dr. Peter Blood has been dismissed from medical school because of his devious experiments. Returns home to join his father's practice. He still believes he can create a perfect human, so he continues his experiments in an abandoned mine where he attempts to revive a rotting corpse. So it's, I guess it's kind of like Frankenstein almost, but not quite, a little bit different. So definitely wanna check that one out. Yeah, he kinda of looks like the Frankenstein monster, doesn't he? So let me know if you've seen that. Uh, next one here is one from 1970. Uh, it's called um, A Quiet Place in the Country. In a quiet place, she strips away the structure of his mind and body piece by piece. So it's like a serial killer type movie, I guess. Uh, it's 106 minutes. It's got uh, Vanessa Redgrave, Franco Nero, uh, and some other people I don't recognize. This is a this is an Italian film. It's in English and Italian, and you get English subtitles as well. Uh, the, I guess the lead guy in here, his name is Leonardo, played by Franco Nero, who was in John Wick Chapter 2, is plagued by nightmares that include himself and his lover, press agent Flavia. His agent is convinced that he just needs some rest, so he rents a villa in the countryside between creating a new painting and trying to fix up the dilapidated cottage. Leonardo's nightmares continue, but now they're getting worse. Will the nightmares continue and take the artist to a downward spiral of madness? So, psychological thriller, I guess. Looks interesting. Uh, next up we have, this is probably one of the ones I was mostly excited for. So you guys know I'm a big Wings Hauser fan, so I had to pick up uh, Deadly Force. 
from 1983, 95 minutes. Uh, it says the ex-killer is too insane to be caught, but one ex-cop is just crazy enough to try. Uh, which is, you know, Wingshauser is the former police officer turned private detective. So I guess he's on the case. So, I know he's, he's a good actor. I, I definitely enjoy his craziness uh, and the movies I've seen him in. So, can't wait to check that out. Three more guys. So this one, people really enjoy this one. I, I don't know if I will. I'm sure I will. It's from 1990, starring Dean Cameron. I do enjoy Dean Cameron. Uh, Thomas Dolby, Tony Basil, and Bo Diddley. That is Rockula. He's a 400-year-old virgin who wants to rock all night. Okay. Uh, Ralph, played by Dean Cameron, is just your typical average vampire with love in his heart, music in his veins, and a curse on his head. Every 22 years, poor Ralph is doomed to lose his soulmate, Mona, at the hands of a rhinestone peg-legged pirate brandishing a large ham bone. But this time around, with the help of his newly formed band, Rockula, Ralph is determined to crush the curse once and for all and show Mona that when you're a vampire, true love is eternal and rock and roll never dies. From the director of Ghoulies, and it's got, you know, like I said, uh, Thomas Dolby, Tony Basil, and Bo Diddley. They were all um, musicians. So, uh, special features, you have a lot on here. You get uh, audio commentary with the director, actress, Tony Ferre, and composer Hilary uh, Brokovici. Interview with the director, interview with Dean Cameron, and then the theatrical trailer. So. There's the back. It is open for some reason, but that's fine. Uh, I've seen a couple of people get this one. Um, I've always been intrigued by this this movie, but I've never seen it. <clears throat> uh, of course, it's got Robert England in it. Uh, this is uh, Dance Macabre from 1992. This was, I believe, yeah, right after he did Freddy's Dead. Uh, this is directed by Graydon Clark. And I think Robert England is the only name that that I can think that I know. Because everyone else is Michelle Zaitlin, Mariana Moen. I don't know. I don't know those, those names. Uh, basically, this is about uh, Michelle Zaitlin's character. Uh, she's an American ballerina who reluctantly enrolls in a Russian dance academy where she meets the charismatic choreographer played by Robert England. I can't see him doing that, but okay. Uh, a dead ringer for Anthony's uh, long dead lover, Jessica, becomes Anthony's favorite student and his personal obsession. So this is looking like a like a thriller. Uh, but what should be the chance of a lifetime for Jessica to become a living nightmare as each of her fellow dancers is brutally murdered? So who's the murderer? Is it... Is it Robert? We don't know. Well, you probably do if you've seen this. I have not. So, there's the back. You get an interview with Robert England on here. You interview with the director. Or commentary with the director, I'm sorry. And then it's the trailer. And, yeah, this is the last last movie in here. Um, I've always been in, I think I have this on DVD, so this is an upgrade. I have not watched this, though. It's got Erica, Erica Strada in it <clears throat> from uh, the Chips, I believe, right? He was in Chips, the TV show. He was in the movie, too, I think. Uh, Caged Fury from 1990. Uh, Richie Barra, I can't say that. Barathy and Roxana Michaels star in this. Oh, James Hong's in this, too. That's, I like James Hong. From, uh, crap. I know he's in Seinfeld, but he was also in, uh, Big Trouble in Little China 
and uh, what is that vinegar syndrome title that he was in? I don't remember the name of the top of my head, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Anyway, it says, pray you don't get locked up in Honeywell State Prison. Kathy is innocent when they lock her up, but that won't last long. Women in chains, a deviant warden, and murderous guards. No wonder the cops claim Honeywell State Prison doesn't exist. So I guess they're trying to get her out of there, I believe. Yeah. So can't wait to check this one out. Uh, no special features on this one, guys. So uh, that is it for everything that I got from the uh, shop factory going out of print sale. Like I said, just uh, seven titles. So just a little stack here. Sorry about the glare. Hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Like I said, I've been waiting for a while for these to come in the mail, and they finally do on probably the most um, rainy days of the of this past week here. But at least the mailman put it in a bag, so it wasn't soaked when I came home from work today. So, okay, guys. Hope you uh, are doing well. And if you guys, let me know in the comments if you picked anything up from the going out of print sale. Um, anyway, guys, take care. See you later.